Let us consider a capillary tube dipped in a liquid of density rho and surface tension sigma. That is rho is the density of the liquid and sigma the surface tension. Surface tension. The liquid will rise through this capillary tube up to a height h and since the liquid wet the, wet the capillary tube the meniscus formed will be a concave meniscus and this meniscus will almost like is in the shape of a sphere that is a spherical in shape. And let H be the height of the liquid raised H and let R be the radius of this tube. R is the radius of the tube. Radius of the tube. Let us take three different points on the liquid. That is one at the point here, one at here, one at B here and let's consider the third point C. Now we know since the points A and B are on the same horizontal level, we have pressure at A equal to pressure at B because they are on the same horizontal level. Now we also have the pressure at A is the atmospheric pressure because above the point A it is atmosphere. So instead of P A you can write P P equal to PB. Let's call that as equation number one. Now look at the pressure at the C, PC. We have above the point C it is atmosphere because here above the point C it is atmosphere. Everywhere in above the point C the it is atmosphere and below the point C it is liquid and we know the uh, this this is just the case of a drop because the pressure outside since the concave surface is outside the pressure outside will be greater than that of pressure inside but anyway the pressure ins inside is is the same case as that of the drop we have pressure inside pi equal to 2 sigma by s say 2 sigma by r this equation we discussed already in the derivation of equation of a drop excess pressure inside a drop where r is the radius of this spherical r, r is the radius of this sphere capital r so pc is equal to since the x pressure outside is greater than the inside pressure that we have this one is the pressure outside which means the pressure outside the c we have po greater than pi and the excess pressure will be PO minus PI, which means P outside is the atmospheric pressure P and inside pressure equal to 2 sigma by R, 2 sigma by R. So this is the pressure at C, that is P atmospheric pressure minus 2 sigma divided by R. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now we have this P here also we can write the P okay but we have to complete the sphere that's why I write the pressure here point above the C means here also now let us zoom in this this sphere it will be like this there is a sphere there is a sphere and this this is the concave meniscus and we know this one is the radius r. r means radius of the sphere. But you know this angle, this angle is the theta which means this angle is the theta or angle of contact. Theta is the angle of contact. Angle of contact. Since it is a concave meniscus, the angle will be an acute angle. But we know this forms a tangent. This forms a tangent to the sphere, and tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So this angle will be 90. 
So if I, if I draw a horizontal line like this and join it in here, we know this, this angle is 90. Also, this angle is also 90. So this angle will be 90 minus theta. So this angle equal to theta. I'm just writing the angle only. This angle will be theta. Clear? Since this angle will be 90 minus theta and this whole angle is 90, so this angle will be theta. But you know, here, this is the radius of the tube. This length is the radius of the capillary tube. And we have cos theta equal to, if you take this triangle, cos theta is equal to, cos theta is equal to, adjacent side is R, R divided by capital R. Therefore, we have r equal to r small letter r by cos theta. Let's call that as equation number 3. Now, we have, now let, let's look at the equation number 1. We have, we have to modify this equation that is p is equal to pb, pb, I'm just right taking this equation, equation number 1. PB, PB means the pressure in here. Pressure in here will be, we know, PC, pressure at C, plus the pressure due to this liquid form of height H. That is H rho G. Clear? Which since PB is equal to PC plus H rho G. Since above the B, there is the point C and there is the liquid column up to height H. Now, if you substitute the value of PC, we just just take P as a P equal to P and PC instead of PC you can write this one that is P minus 2 sigma by R plus X rho G. Okay. Now you can cancel this P and this P which means X rho G is equal to 2 sigma divided by R. Now you can substitute R, R by cos theta here, which means H rho G is equal to 2 sigma divided by R by cos theta. So this will be, let me erase all this, all these equations. So h is equal to h rho g is equal to this cos theta will go up 2 sigma cos theta divided by r therefore h is equal to 2 sigma cos theta divided by r rho g so this is the expression for the uh, ascent or the height through which the liquid rays in a capillary tube or this is called the ascent formula ascent formula clear clearly the height depends upon the radius of the tube the narrow the tube greater will be the height raised also the density the density of the liquid is less the height will be higher also gravity remains constant also surface tension with this increase in surface tension the height raises also the angle of contact clear